Hey guys, what is up, Jack of All Trades here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a virtual machine on your Windows operating system, and all links are in the description below. So the first thing you want to do is uh, actually, um, before you uh, set up VirtualBox, you want to get the Windows ISO. So download the Windows Media Creation Tool from Microsoft's website, and um, the reason I'm using the Media Creation Tool is that you don't have to go to some, like, uh, shady website in order to get a Windows, an actual Windows ISO, um, and I'll show you how to um, get one from the Windows 10 setup. So just click this accept here, and um, usually it says getting a few things ready, but it takes like an hour. <coughs> what, I, what I've actually had to do is, I uh, messed up my last recording, and it's the second time I'm recording this, because um, I uh, just just, uh, well, one, I uh, downloaded a 64-bit, uh, or I set up a 64-bit version of Windows when uh, oh, we were supposed to create 32-bit, uh, because that's only what uh, VirtualBox can do. Um, so, I'm just, uh, I'm just redoing the whole video. I don't have time for it, but I'm doing it. So, yeah. So, we'll create the installation media. Um, so, uncheck this and change this to 32-bit, x86, Windows 10, yeah. Then English. If if you have a different language, you can select a different language. Click next. I don't care. If it doesn't, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, no. we're gonna be using a virtual machine. So select ISO file here instead of USB flash drive. Click next, and then you can select the file uh, directory in which you want to um, uh, down uh, make it. <coughs> I'm just selecting downloads because that's an easy place. Click save then it will download Windows 10 and um, I'll get back to you when it's done downloading and we will set up VirtualBox and I'll just uh, go through how to set up the virtual machine and I'll show show you it running for the first time and then that's pretty much what we'll be, what we'll be doing in this video. Alright guys so um, now the um, ISO file is uh, done being set up we can just uh, finish the uh, download or not download, the setup now we have the ISO file. Now you can um, set up VirtualBox, which is what we'll do right now. We'll run the installation. Next, um, I'll do it on my D drive. Um, okay. Yes, next, next. Basically, uh, during the installation, your internet connection might be interrupted. And then we can install. Oh yeah, um, you saw me changing the drive letter to D, that's because I got a hard drive, one terabyte hard drive, so now I can store all my videos. Okay, so now we'll start VirtualBox, and we'll uh, set up our Windows installation. Now one thing I must note is um, um, you can only use a 32-bit Windows installation. Um, I tried, I, I kind of forgot that the last time I was recording this, so it's been almost an hour, and this only takes like five minutes, so yeah. Anyway, just click New. Um, I'm just going to type Windows 10, and usually it'll detect just by the title that you're using that it's Windows. I'll just make sure it's selected Windows 10 32-bit. Next, I'll, I'll just set to four, gig, 4 gigs of memory or RAM because I have 16 gigs, as you can see over here, but the default size is 1 gig. Um, yeah, create a virtual hard disk. That's basically where all your files are going to be stored. Um, yeah, just leave it as a VirtualBox disk image. What that what that basically means is um, you can you can put the disk image on a USB drive that's probably like you know 32 gigs, and uh, you can transfer that over to a different installation of VirtualBox. So you know, just leave it like that. Nothing really. You know, I I don't know what this means. Uh, what either of these means. So I I just leave it at the top one. Uh, fixed size. Well, okay, so dynamically allocated means. Um, pretend like the operating system, this Windows operating system, takes up 6 gigs in the memory that we just made out of 32 gigs. It's only going to be 6 gigs that's taken up on your hard drive instead of 32. Now once you start doing more stuff on your virtual machine, it'll start expanding. But a fixed size is like, is like, um, it just stays at 32 GB even if Windows is only using 6 GB. The best way I can put it is pretend you're filling a water a water balloon up with water that's dynamically allocated and like a tub of water would be fixed size it just depends on your space I have a hard drive so 
one terabyte hard drive, I'll just choose fixed size. Um, yeah, 32 GB, Windows 10, we'll click create. Pretty straightforward. And then there's just one thing you have to do before you can actually click this start button up here. But for now, we'll just let it create the volume and um, then we'll go from there. So here, um, you can see, sorry about that. Um, one thing you have to do before you uh, start the um, actual virtual operating system for the first time is you have to um, like add the ISO. So what you have to do here is you have to go to storage um, once I actually get to it and you have to click on that little empty um, text with the CD next to it. Click on that little CD next to SATA port and then um, like choose vertical vert, virtual disk drive and select that ISO. Remember 32 bit only. And this is kind of like putting a, a CD into a computer that you've just built so you can boot from the CD to set up Windows. This is how it works. This is kind of like an actual literal computer on your computer. So we'll press start and see what happens. Okay, now we have an error. And okay, let's see. Okay, this is because I have Hyper V enabled, and I don't think this supports Hyper V. I I I don't know why it's saying AMD V, but um, well, I do have an AMD processor, you know. Um, but yeah, this is kind of how you set it up. Um, doesn't really have to work, but yeah. So I'll see if uh, I can get this to work. Um, if I can't, then I'll get back to you when that happens. Yeah, so um, I couldn't disable it, but basically that's a rundown on um, how to uh, install uh, or set up a um, 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 virtual machine. That's it. Huh? I'm so bad at talking. Yeah, that's basically how you set up a virtual machine. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you noticed, there's no watermark on the corner over here. That's because I now have an XSplit subscription, which is nice. I can record in smooth 1080p 60fps, and um, yeah. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, blah blah blah, subscribe, leave a like, share, share with people if you thought this was useful, even though there are like a billion other better tutorials on out there, but you know, there's one for my cousin who wanted some help and too, you know, um, I just really want to help people, yeah, and that's all, so, you know, I, I did take out like an hour of my time to, to make this video, so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.